Good morning, family. This is Ricky. Welcome to Hope for today. Happy Monday. Let's go. Get up out your bed. Bend the knee. Thank God for another day. It's a brand new week. We're going to act like a thing is so, even though it ain't so, in order that it might be so, because God said so. How are you doing with gentleness? How are you doing with gentleness? One of the fruit of the Spirit. It's one of the characteristics of Jesus Christ that we see all throughout the Gospels, this 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 power of the Holy Spirit to make you and I turn down when our flesh says to turn up gentleness. Second Timothy, chapter two, verse twenty five, Paul says, correcting his opponents with gentleness. God may perhaps grant them repentance, leading to a knowledge of the truth. Paul is telling Timothy that as you steward the gospel, as you pastor your church, as you preach and teach the word of God, as you live to be salt and light before others, you're going to have opponents along the way. And how you treat your opponents has everything to do with whether or not you'll be able to influence your opponents. That's what Paul's saying to Timothy. And that gentleness is key. How are you doing with gentleness? We got three kids. Y'all know this. Uh, my oldest boy, Cam, sensitive, big heart, reader, um, quiet. I've got um, my baby girl. Uh, Andy, she just turned five years old, sweet and precious. I don't play favorites, but if that house catches on fire, I'm getting that girl out first. But then I got that middle child. Come on, somebody. That middle boy, grand, he has turned up with testosterone. As soon as the boy walks in the house, he wants to just growl and come fight and say, daddy, daddy. He's just turned up all the time. And he gets on his brother's nerves, gets on his sister's nerves so that many times me and April have to come and calm him and rub his shoulders and say, grand, gentle. That's gentleness. Gentleness is when your flesh wants to growl and somebody deserves you growling at them. But the spirit says, son, daughter, gentle. How are you doing with gentleness? As we start a new week and as you consider your relationships as you consider work dynamics, as you consider people you're trying to win over to the Lord, I want you to hear this as we start our week. There are some doors in your life only gentleness will open. There are some doors in your life only gentleness will open. Some of you aren't making any headway into some relationships or into some opportunities and you've tried everything and you know you're even right on everything and you've, you've manipulated every resource you have, but you still can't get headway. Maybe God is saying, maybe you haven't come through that situation with the gentleness the gospel requires of you. I want you to consider this week what it means to make yourself low, that God's gentleness in you might be made high so that those doors can open in your life. That's all for today, y'all. Have a good week. I'll see you next time.